trying not to get electrocuted. Most electrocution accidents happen because of carelessness. Be smart about what you're doing and you'll be significantly reduce the risk of being hurt by electricity. Now here are some few handy electrocution prevention tips. First is to avoid working with an AC operated circuits. Of course, you can always do this if your project requires an AC power supply. The power supply converts the AC to lower voltage DC. Considering using a self-contained one such as a plug-in wall transformer, they're much safer than a homemade power supply. Second, physically separate an AC and DC portions of your circuits. This helps to prevent a bad shock if a wire comes loose. Third, make sure you secure all wiring inside your project. Don't just tape the AC cord inside the project enclosure, it may pull out some time, exposing a live wire. So use a strain relief or a cable mount to secure the cord to the enclosure. A strain relief clamps around the wire and prevents you from tugging the wire out of the enclosure. You can buy a strain relief for electrical cords at almost any hardware store or electronic shops. Next is, whenever possible, use a metal enclosure for your AC operated projects but only if the enclosure is fully grounded. You need to use a 3 prong electrical plug and wire for this. So be sure to firmly attach the green wire which is always the ground wire. Ground is used as a reference for all voltages in a circuit to the metal of the enclosure. Then another if, you can guarantee a fully grounded system, use a plastic enclosure. The plastic helps to insulate you from any loose wires or accidental electrocution. For projects that aren't fully grounded, only use an isolated power supply such as a wall transformer or in a black box with plug prongs which is attached to a wire such as you may have on your cell phone charger. You plug the transformer into the wall and only relatively safe low voltage DC comes out. Then next, don't be the class clown. <laughs> be serious and focused while you're working around electricity. Then next, don't work where it is wet. Of course. You'd be surprised what people sometimes do when they're not paying attention. And remember, just because you put liquid in a cup, that doesn't mean you don't run the risk of knocking it over and getting things wet. Consider leaving your soft drink or coffee on an out-of-the-way shelf when working on your electronics project. So make sure to practice the body system when possible. Have a body nearby you're working around AC voltages. You want someone who can dial 911 when you're lying on the ground unconscious, seriously. Getting a first aid chart. Of course, you're the safest person on earth and you'll be never electrocuted. But just in case, get one of those emergency first aid charts that includes information about what to do if anyone else ever pokes his finger into a wall outlet. Now you can find these charts on the internet. Try search for first aid wall chart. You can also find them in school and industrial supply catalogs. Helping someone who has been electrocuted may require cardiopulmonary resuscitation, otherwise known as CPR. Be sure that you're probably trained before administering CPR on anyone, otherwise you may cause more harm than good. So check out some websites to get more information about doing CPR training.